Hello everybody, it's Snailsby, and welcome back to episode 2 of my Inktober series. Today is day 1, and it's going up a bit late because I actually had some trouble with my editor, and I ended up losing some footage. Uh, at one point I had two camera angles that I was going to use, and I wanted to cut the two different angles together. I had one camera from like a top view, and then another that was a side view for like close-ups, but in the end I lost all of the footage from the top view camera. So now what I have is just the side view camera. It wasn't the primary camera angle that I wanted to use, but it's all I had so I ended up just cutting it together, doing what I could, and that's what you see today. So today's episode is going to be the pilot episode of Rick and Morty. Originally I wanted to do a scene that I hadn't seen people draw before. Um, I decided to go for this one because a couple of years ago I tried that and I didn't really feel motivated to do it. So instead I picked one that I wanted to draw. The scene that I did choose was the one towards the end where they're going through customs right before they portal back to their own dimension. And I'll put the screenshot up here in a second, the one that I'm going to be using. So when I started making videos, I didn't really expect to have like this much trouble, I guess. Um, I expected hardships, but I didn't really expect to just immediately lose everything I recorded. And then also I lost motivation along with it. Um, when I, when I found out that I just like the files were gone and then also corrupted, I just completely lost motivation. I ended up not recording at all uh, that night, and I ended up just wondering if I should keep going or not, but I'm pushing myself to keep doing it, because I said I would. Luckily I've managed to keep up with the actual drawings, but editing and doing the voiceovers has taken like longer than I expected. I plan to have an episode up each ev each day but I suspect I won't manage that like I had hoped I would. And I'm going to try and keep my schedule as best as I can. I am a couple of days behind just having to edit and then do voiceovers. I decided to do voiceovers separately. That way I wouldn't be tied to not being able to cut out any footage because I was talking during it or it would seem weird, I suppose. I guess cuts aren't that weird. Uh, this video actually has multiple cuts in it where I just chopped up scenes or just cut out stuff where I stopped and like dug through my art supplies for like 10 minutes <laughs> trying to find something. And also with uh, doing the audio separately, I am more able to cut out things that I say that I don't really like or don't want to keep in the final part. So for this piece, I wanted to try and try and pretty accurately, uh, not necessarily copy the screen cap, but I did want to I did want to try and stick pretty close to the canon style. Normally, when I draw things, I'll like completely just go off and do my own thing. Um, style-wise. And there are a couple of times where I did kind of deviate and just stylize things throughout. But I figured for this piece I wanted to try and stay pretty close to the original style. Make it recognizable but different, if that makes sense. So when I was doing this background I thought What's a way that I can make this broken up from the foreground without making it solid black or solid white? And at first I did these like small line designs and I thought that looked a bit too cluttered. So what I ended up going with instead was crosshatching and I of course made the very smart decision to do very tiny crosshatches <laughs> across everything in the background. So I'm not really sure what to say about this episode. I mean, it's the pilot. Uh, 
originally when I I actually tried to watch Rick and Morty like three or four times before I finally got into it. Uh, the pilot was one of the episodes that I kept trying over and over again, and I didn't like it every time I saw it. Uh, it just wasn't my cup of tea. I felt it was very crude, and I felt the relationship between Rick and Morty was just very cruel, and I didn't really like how Morty was painted as like an imbecile, and Rick was just like taking advantage of him the entire time. Um, that's what I saw anyway. And so I found it really hard to just push through and keep going. So I actually ended up watching this episode a couple of times, stopping it, not continuing it several times. Uh, when I finally did start watching the series, uh, the, the season three pilot was the first episode that I actually jived with and I really liked a lot. So I ended up coming back after that, skipping the first episode again and then starting from the second one and that time I actually continued on with the series. So when I first started shading this picture, I, I originally fought with myself over whether or not I should do light gray shading or if I should stick to the just using black and white. So there's this bit here where I'm really struggling about how I'm gonna shade his face <laughs> because I just I don't know how I'm gonna do that with just solid black and white and eventually I just go in for it and I just start putting down marks, and I almost immediately regret everything. It just was not working out here. Eventually I just said, well, screw it, I'm just gonna go for it anyway. Uh, and so I just ended up coloring his entire face, like the entire side of his face black, and doing instead a very harsh uh, lighting on this picture because I'm not sure if I can do soft lighting <laughs> with just black. I suppose if I had done like some kind of cross-hatching cross or something like that, it would have been better. But I decided not to do that. Uh, the background already had cross-hatching and I didn't want it to like interfere, I guess. I don't know. I haven't really done, like I said, I haven't really done strictly black and white pieces much before, so this is very, very new to me. I, I wanted to do, I wanted to do grays because that's usually, usually feels a little more, um, a little less drastic, and I feel like black and white is just too much of a contrast, um, and I've never worked with solid black before when I've done shading, so this was a pretty difficult exercise for me, and there's bits where I just uh, thought it was going very poorly, and I didn't know if I wanted to keep going or not, but I pushed myself. And I think I, I think this is the theme that I want to carry on throughout the series, because I figure it's something I really don't know how to work with, and this is great pra practice, which is what Inktober is all about anyway. And then I noticed that, like, with most of my work, as soon as I started adding the white details, it instantly got better. <laughs> I really had fun doing the uh, portal effects in white. I think it really made the portal come to life, and then adding little highlights here and there throughout the piece, just to make the uh, focal stuff pop more. And see, right here when I start working on Morty's face is like, I immediately started feeling better about it once I started adding the white lines. I think this right here is when I 
decided maybe I didn't hate this piece as much as I thought I did after all, and I got a kind of new energy to finish it off and keep going with it. I think I'd like to do more pieces, uh, aside from this series of course, uh, more pieces with just a bunch of solid black and white stuff, because it was really fun experimenting with it. I think I just need to get better at doing negative and positive space and things like that, because although I I did end up liking this piece more than I thought I would, it's still a little uh, cluttered, I think. Just too much design and stuff going on in the background, and I don't know, it definitely could have been done better, I feel. I think I want to try and stick with just blocking off black and white parts instead of trying to do shading in just black because that's really hard, in my opinion. And then I went back in and added some little black details to the portal, finished it up, and there were a couple of other parts that I accidentally went over with the white pen that I touched up as well. And I don't know about you guys, but peeling masking tape is the most satisfying thing in the world. <laughs> and there it is, all finished. I did have a lot of better views from my other camera angle, but this was the only angle I managed to salvage, as I said. Alright, well, thank you for watching, and thank you for joining me again today, and I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you the next time. Bye!